Do you feel like no matter what you do, you just can't get rid of that stubborn belly fat that you have? I was there for a really long time and now I've gotten to the point where I've got a six pack and I've been able to maintain it. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the three simple steps you can take to get rid of that belly fat for good. Like I said, for the longest time, I could not get rid of that belly fat. I just always had a little bit right here and in my love handles. But I finally got to the point where I've gotten rid of that. And I wanna share in here a realistic time frame uh, and how you can take three steps to get there. But disclaimer, you know, you can't spot reduce fat, right? You can't be like, I wanna lose fat in this part of my arm. I'm gonna target that right there, right? So this is a myth you can't spot reduce, but what you can do is overall lose body fat. And over time, if you give it enough time, you will lose body fat everywhere, right? There's just certain areas that are a little bit more stubborn than others, but what you can do is just make sure that you lean out overall and eventually you will lose even the stubborner areas. Now let's talk about a realistic time frame from where you're starting out. So realistically, what you can expect is about one to two pounds of loss per week, which equates to about one to two percent body fat per month on what you can lose. So look at where you're starting out, figure out what your body fat percentage is, and this is gonna allow you to come up with that time frame on when you can reach your goals. All right, so what you can realistically expect is when you're about somewhere between that 10 to 15% body fat range, that's when you're really gonna be super lean and that's where there shouldn't really be any more of those stubborn areas, right? If you're at 10 to 15% body fat or even below that, you know, you're not really gonna have much body fat, even if you were someone that just, just holds it in one spot, like you're most likely just, you're gonna be lean overall at that point, okay? So come up with your realistic time frame with that one to two pounds per week or one to two percent per month um, with where you're starting out. And then if you're looking to lose, you know, realistically, if you're starting out, you know, pretty high and you're looking to lose 30 to 40 pounds of pure fat, then you're probably, you know, or more than that, then you're probably gonna wanna consider phasic dieting. Okay, so with phasic dieting, you can go into periods of time where you're in a caloric deficit, you're losing body fat, um, and then you go into more of a maintenance or a diet break. And this is gonna be a good idea because for one, your metabolism can slow down if you're in a deficit for a long period of time. So your metabolism might start to slow down and your hormones might just start to slow down and your hunger hormones are gonna actually increase the longer you're in a deficit, right? So a lot of times if you're trying to lose a really large amount of weight, then it's a better idea to do it in phasic and sorry, and do it in phases and do it in this phasic dieting approach. Step number one is coming up with your calories and your macros to lose weight overall and lean out. All right. So what you can do is just go ahead and download an app or doesn't have to be this app, but I use my fitness pal. You can use other diet tracking apps, but if you punch in your information, punch in your goals into an app, then you can figure out what your starting point is with your calories and macros. Okay, and this is gonna give you a good ballpark estimate to start out. But I wanna make a huge note of this, that once you get this starting point, that's what it is, it's, it's just a starting point, right? And it's not an exact number. No matter how close you try to get in the beginning, it's just a rough estimate. So make sure that you're tracking your progress and making the right adjustments along the way, all right? If you see that you're not really losing weight, then you're gonna have to come down on that. It doesn't matter what my fitness pal is telling you, right? Or whatever tracking app you're coming up with your calories and macros, okay? So come up with that ballpark starting point estimate, but then make sure you're making the right adjustments to see the progress that you wanna see. All right, that leads right into step number two, which is tracking your progress and making those adjustments. Okay, so step number two, you wanna get a weekly average of your weigh-ins. And to do this, you need to weigh yourself every single day and then average it out. Make sure you're in between that one to two pounds loss per week. That's gonna allow you to get that one to 2% body fat percentage loss per month. Okay, so that's number one. Make sure you're weighing yourself every day. You wanna get weekly progress pictures. You're not... You wanna to try to get as much, as much data as you possibly can to make sure you're on track for your goals. Okay, so weekly progress pictures, make sure you're seeing the physical changes as well, not just what you see on the scale because there's other forms of progress, right? And then what you wanna do is get that body fat percentage measurement at least every three months, um, but really somewhere in the one to three month range. All right, so that's 
in my opinion, the most important measurement, the most important metric to measure your progress, but you wanna make sure you're losing that body fat percentage. Um, and if you're not, if you're going in three months later and you're not on track for that, you definitely wanna make adjustments with those macros and calories that we talked about. Okay, but that's step number two, is making sure you're dialed in on tracking the progress, getting the right measurements. And last but not least, step number three is gonna be your caloric expenditure. And I purposely put this as the last step because I highly recommend setting up your diet strategically to set yourself up for success. Okay, so once you've set up your diet to make things smarter, not harder on you, right? Setting up that strategy, then we can worry about making sure you've got the right resistance training program uh, to reach your goals, okay? And get that caloric expenditure. And then once we have that, then you can think about increasing your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, things like steps and just daily activity. They're gonna help you burn a lot more calories throughout the day and throughout the week. Okay, so make sure with that resistance training program that you've got the right amount of volume per muscle group. This is really important you know, to, to make significant progress, um, not only with your, your weight loss and your leaning out goals, but also to at least maintain, if not build muscle at the same time, you wanna make sure you're getting sufficient volume per muscle group, okay? Somewhere between the 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week is where you wanna ballpark be in. Your abs actually don't need that much work, believe it or not. That's a very common misconception. A lot of people think you just need to hammer your abs away and just you know try to do a bunch of ab work to try to see your abs and get rid of the belly fat there. Um, but the reality is, you know, it's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason that the abs are made in the kitchen. All right, right. So set up your diet strategy, get the sufficient amount of volume per muscle group per week. You're going to burn a good amount of calories by doing that. And then you can gradually increase the calories that you're burning throughout the week from that meat that we talked about, everything outside of the deliberate exercise, right? So it's increasing your steps, do these things across time so that you know you can gradually build up as your metabolism's slowly slowing down, you know, as you're dieting and you're in a deficit for a long period of time, you can combat that by gradually increasing your non-exercise activity thermogenesis and burning more calories. Okay, so do that gradually. And it's gonna allow you to see continuous progress, not hit as many plateaus and really lean out and get to the point that you wanna see your abs and, and what you're really looking for. Okay, so that was step number three, the caloric expenditure. Uh, but like I said, work smarter, not harder. Make sure your diet is set up for your success. Now, I said this in my last video, but I'm gonna say it again, but make sure you see things to completion because none of this even matters if you don't do this, right? If you try to chase two rabbits, then you're not gonna catch any of them, right? So you don't wanna flip flop from one goal to the other. If you feel like, you know, you start leaning out, but you're like, oh man, now I'm starting to look a little bit small on my t-shirt, you know, and you, and you start bulking back up, you're just gonna keep flip-flopping and never reach any of your goals. Okay, so make sure to see it to completion, reach your body fat percentage goals before you pivot and move on to something else. Okay, but guys, if you still feel like you need help, if you feel like you need more information or more accountability to execute on these goals, then I'm helping people transform their, their body and their lives every single day make sure to message me on, on Instagram. Go ahead and message me transform and I'll send you some more info. I've even got a free course that I can shoot your way um, and we can go from there. But other than that, guys, um, you know, put this stuff into action. Like I said, on the Elevate Everyday podcast and my YouTube channel, it's all about putting this stuff into action right away. Don't just listen and absorb the information, put it into practice into your life. All right, but other than that, I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Make sure to subscribe. I think I've finally hit a thousand. I'm like teetering right around that thousand subscriber mark. So make sure to subscribe. Let's let's get us to 2000 and beyond now. Um, but yeah, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Elevate every damn day. In the meantime, peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.